Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, DM Kiddies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all. I'm much better. Thank you. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Lord, for a new day. We thank you, Lord, for a new day. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father, for waking us up to see another day. Thank you, Lord. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the praise. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Bless his holy name. Thank him for another day. Thank him for another day. Thank him for another day. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So tala maraboshtaka. Manda libra doshta kela brushta la bradushta la bradeshta. Thank you, Father, for a new day. Shanda libra doshta la bradeshta. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Did you find the remote? Okay, great. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Maleka taliba ranoshta. Maleka taliba ranoshta. Maleka taliba ranoshta. Manda sota libra dushte kali. Manda li kasuta libra dushta ka. E zoto lo barishte. E zoto lo barishte. E zoto lo barishte. E zoto lo barishte. Mandele kuzote librado. Mandele kuzoto librado. Mandele kuzoto librado. Este bregito russo teli boroshika. Este brelisto rusto keli brogoshita. Este Oh, Father, we worship you. We thank you for another day. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for accessing to your presence. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that washes us, that cleanses us. Thank you, God. Malata li karoshte, malia torabashte. Le bragatu makasanda, libre geto sondo libro goto siti la baroshte, mandere ke siti le marushtaka ya, le brandu seteli barakusha taya, le brandu seteli barakusha kaya, le brandu seteli barakusha kaya, e rosote libra baba shanta, e rosote libra baba shanta, le brandu se libra baba shanta, redana soteni ranoya, redana soteni ranoya, red. Dana Soteni Ranoya, Rokre Baba Shete Lutre Diso, Rokre Baba Shete Lutre Diso, Akrito Bediki Satea, Akrito Bediki Satea. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Thank you for a fresh touch. Thank you for a fresh touch. YouTube, you're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for a fresh touch. We worship you. We thank you, Father. Say, Lord, I've come to receive a fresh touch from you. I've come to receive a fresh touch from you. I've come to receive a fresh touch, fresh fire. Fire. fresh touch fresh fire from your throne of grace fresh touch touch me again lord visit me with your fire lord visit me with your fire mixellar is working i'm monitoring it please make sure you check it very well before um you comment i'm monitoring mixellar that's what i do with my phone i keep monitoring checking to see the comments if it is two seconds if i don't see any comment about the voice or the volume then i know we are good okay 
Oh, Father, we thank you. Visit us afresh. Visit me with your fire today. Visit me with your power today. Visit me with fresh oil today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Visit me with a touch from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kaneso la mane rashonta. Kaneso la mare nashonta. Kaneso la mane rashonta. Visit me with a fresh touch. Visit me with a fresh touch. In the name of Jesus. Makre setelia. Tell the Lord. Say yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Here you've got to open your mouth and pray. Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. I have come to receive more. I have come for a fresh touch. I have come for fresh fire. I have come for fresh oil on my head. I have come for fresh touch. Oh, Father, touch me afresh. Visit me afresh. Give me a now word. In the name of Jesus, the prayers that I need to pray for for today. Oh, I receive unction to function in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you know where I am at. You know what I need. You know what is my situation. You see what I don't see. Give me unction to flow today. In the name of Jesus Christ, lead my prayers. Lead my prayers. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Mateke Dora Sukapaya. Mateke Dora Sukapaya. In a bronze lenisha tire, I receive fresh oil. Fresh oil on my head. In the name of Jesus. Fresh oil on my head. Anoint my, my head with fresh oil. My cup runs over. Oh, thank Thank you, Father. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Oh, thank you, God. Marege zete liboro boshtaka. E bara sotoli bronde shika ida libaro Oh, anoint me afresh with fresh oil. Reke soto la braneke seteria. My head shall never lack oil. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, touch me, touch me, touch me afresh. Touch me again, touch me again, touch me again, Father. Touch me, Spirit of God. Fill me up afresh till I overflow. Fill me up again. Fill me up again. A fresh infilling. Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, I receive a fresh infilling from you. I receive a fresh infilling from you today. I receive a fresh infilling from you today. Fill me up till I overflow. Fill me up till my cup runs over. Fill me up till I overflow. Spirit of God, fill me up till my cup runs over. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of God, give me fresh fire. Give me fresh fire. Breathe upon my life afresh fresh. Breathe upon my life afresh. Blow away every stillness. Blow away every shaft. Blow away every dust. Blow away everything that is not meant for me. Blow it away. Breathe upon my mind. Breathe upon my life. Breathe upon my journey afresh. Breathe upon my destiny. Breathe upon my mind. Breathe upon my thoughts afresh. Heavenly Father, breathe upon me. Akaroba shanta. E korobo shanta. Akaroba shanta. E leboro shanta. E brando seteli baruste. E brando seteli baruste. Madeke zute lebre nu kata. Breathe upon me afresh. Breathe upon my thoughts. Breathe upon my imagination. Breathe upon my thoughts. Breathe upon my thinking faculty. Breathe upon my emotions. Breathe upon my health. Breathe upon my body. Ayeke to malaka sute leborosh takaya. Breathe upon me, Spirit of God. And fill me up till I overflow. 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 Shanda le baroka masataye. Shanda le baroka masataye. Shanda le baroka masataye. Fill me up till I overflow. I don't want to run on empty Holy Ghost. I don't want to run on empty Holy Ghost. I want a fresh infilling of your spirit. A fresh infilling of your power. A fresh infilling of your of your fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Rode Makozo Tira Moshte Rambaseke di Balika Tabarushta Rambaseke di Balika Tabarushta Rambaseke di Balika Tabarushta E Brandu se tendu se lembriste E Brandu se telu brendeliste E lebro no so ti balika boro no shataya E lebro no so ti balika boro no shataya O raba baba satalia O raba baba satalia O raba baba satalia 
Breathe up all my thoughts. Breathe up all my thinking faculty. Breathe up all my mind. In the name of Jesus. Rejecate. Say, blow away the shaft. Blow away the dust. Blow away every cobweb in my mind. Every junk in my mind. Blow it away. Blow away everything that is hindering my mind. In the name of Jesus. Blow it away, my father. E shakatore mokosoto libarushta. O rabana sedire manoka radoshte. Blow it away, my father. In the name of Jesus. Rezanda belikre tu se prende le kuraba shikayeta. E bregedu se libre kune se teri badoshta. Let my mind begin to imagine new things. Let my mind begin to imagine new things. In the name of Jesus. Let my thoughts begin to imagine new thoughts. In the name of Jesus, Robaka Shakata Libro Koshontaye. Let new things begin to flow from my mind. Let new thoughts begin to flow from my mind. Let pure thoughts begin to flow from my mind. Blow away every impurity from my mind. In the name of Jesus, Rekabina Rokosanda Reya. Rekabina Rokosanda Reya. Rekabina Rokosanda Reya. E Maroto Liba Rushataya. E Bregi. Yesterday we prayed this prayer from Isaiah <clears throat> and we asked the Lord to remove all the barriers, every self-imposed limitation that we have placed on ourselves, every self-imposed limitation, barriers or, or you know, that we have placed on ourselves. Father, Lord, let it be lifted. You're going to pray that prayer one more time. You're going to pray that prayer one more time. Lord, I commit my mind into your hands. Let my mind be renewed in the name of Jesus. But Father, every limitation, every self-imposed limitation in the name of Jesus that I have placed on my mind, I think it's Isaiah 45. What was that scripture? That are placed on my mind. <coughs> 45 verse 2. In the name of Jesus. Every prison in my mind. Every prison in my imagination. Every prison in my thoughts. That's why he brought Abraham out. And he said look to the north. Look to the east. Look to the west. Look to the south. As far as your eyes can see, the Lord is telling me to tell you again. Look, 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 look. He said, look at the sands at the shore of the sea. Can you count it? Look at the stars in the sky. Can you count it? Look, 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 look. I want your mind to be able to grasp at least 90% of what I am telling you. I want your mind, your thoughts to be able to be, to, to come up higher. Let's come up higher in our thoughts. Let's come up higher in our thinking. Let's come up higher in the fruits of our words, in the fruits of our mind. Let's come up higher in our imagination, in the products that come out of our mind. The Lord wants us to come. The Bible says his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He says as as, as far or as high as the heaven is from the earth. He said that is the way the Lord's thoughts are so high, so high. The Lord's ways are so high, so high. Father, in the name of Jesus, every prison here, Oh, Kezet Oliva, you will need to touch this place and pray. You will need to make contact with your mind. You will need to make contact with your mind and say, Father, break every prison in my mind. Break the gates of every prison in my mind. In the name of Jesus, let me tell you something. When God is going to do something for you, he needs you to see it first. He needs you to see it first first. You see it with the eyes of your understanding. You see it with your spiritual eye. Some of you need to see yourself out of debt. Some of you need to see yourself married. Some of you need to see yourself prospering. Some of you need to see yourself in that new job. Some of you need to see yourself at peace. Some of you need to see yourself helping people. Some of you need to see yourself doing great things in your business. Some of you need to sit down and see that store, see that business, see that shop, 
you need to see it before you are able to pray it through. You need to see it. You need the Lord to paint pictures in your mind. Oh, say, Father, help me. Help my vision. Help my imagination. That man said, said told Jesus, he said, help my unbelief. Hey, Kabosha, Katalibosha. Every unbelief in my mind towards your promise for me. Every unbelief in my thoughts towards your word for me. Towards your vision for me. Father, today, Kabali Kasote Rebashtakaria. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. And I receive more faith. I draw more faith. I draw more faith to believe you for more. Some of you need to see the more that God is talking about. God said this is our year of more. You need to see more before you can receive more. Hallelujah. You've got to see it before you believe it. Oh, Father, help me. Help me, Lord. Help my own belief. In the name of Jesus, deliver me from the prison of my mind. Deliver me from the limitations of my thoughts. Deliver me from the prison of my mind. In the name of Jesus. Rokamba na luse le bashto. Rokamba na luse le bashto. Rokamba na luse. Some of you need to see yourself making that money that we have been that you have been hearing about. You know, until you see it. Until you, you need to see. You are looking at your bank account today. Maybe you have, maybe you have 2,800 naira in your bank account you need to see something different you need to see your bank account overflowing you need to see your bank account overflowing ah thank you father for this is not my end this is only a temporary situation it is subject to change Thank you, Jesus. You need to see your bank account overflowing. You need to see things. Ask the Lord to deliver you from every prison in your mind. The prison of your mind. The mental prison that you have placed yourself in because of your situation. Because of your situation or because of the things you've been through in the past. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. You know, there's a way after you've gone through miscarriages or you've gone through disappointment you just don't see yourself getting pregnant anymore that's why when it happens you will be shocked you start crying say i don't believe it but because you weren't seeing it you weren't seeing it you need to see yourself carrying your baby you need to see yourself pregnant you need to see yourself pregnant. You need to see yourself pregnant. Oh, keteli mukura satali mashonda ye. Oh, marabasele boshota yanda. Oh, bregedila boso teli barushta. Lord, help me to see new things in this season. Help me to see new things in this season. Help me to see new things in this season. In the name of Jesus. Rabaka tali branoshta kaya. Help me to see new things. Yes, sir. Deliver me of every bondage that I place myself up. in the name of Jesus, mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever prison I'm in. Oh, Father, deliver me completely in the name of Jesus. Let the barriers be lifted. Let the barriers be lifted. Let the barriers be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the barriers be lifted. Let the limits be broken. Let the chains of my mind be broken. Break every chain on my mind. Break every chain on my mind. Break every chain on my thoughts. In the name of Jesus, my mind begins to phantom new things. Oh, my mind is fruitful in this season. I bear new fruit in this season. I bear new ideas in this season. I bear new thoughts in this season. In the name of Jesus, my mind is fruitful in this season. Regabona Sarabashandaye. Regabona Sarabashandaye. Regabona Sarabashandaye. I bear new thoughts thoughts in this season in the name of Jesus Christ some of you are expecting to fail <coughs> some of us we're expecting failure we're expecting bad things to happen we're expecting bad news not even towards someone else towards ourselves expecting something not to work you know sometimes when something is going well you say hey hey this thing the way it's going smoothly like this something will happen hmm. ah you know 
the way the way this thing too was going, I knew that there would be something off. Something will happen. Something will happen. You are expecting something bad to happen to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cast down every imagination, every evil imagination that I have thought towards myself. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satele Maruma Nashataya, I expect your expected end for me. I expect everything I am back on in this season to turn out well. I expect everything I am back on in this season to turn out well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm working on a project and it requires building. And so we've been building. But because there's been conversations of, oh, development control. When they see you building, they will come. Ah, they will come. Oh, you know these people now. FCDA. When they see you building, they will come. They will come. So, you know, when you start things like this, you have to keep one money in one side. You have to do this. You have to do that. Because they will come for you. Because they will come. No, they will come. They will come and drill you. They can even come and say, no, do this. They can even come and... So, I, I kept expecting them. I kept expecting them. I kept expecting them. One day, the Holy Spirit told me, why are you expecting them? Why are you expecting FCDA to come and make trouble on your site? Why are you expecting development control to come and make trouble on your site? Why? Stop expecting them. Stop expecting them. In fact, it was so bad that last week my husband and I were there. We saw a, a white hillock spark in front. And immediately I said, they are here, finally. They've come. Mm. And it wasn't even them. Do you understand? The person just packed and went to buy suya. It wasn't even them. So this is how sometimes we are expecting bad things. We are expecting bad things to happen to us. And we are wondering why our prayers are not being answered. We are expecting bad things to happen to us. And when it comes to pass, we will be worried. But the, God has said to us that what we are expecting is what we will get. God has told us that as you think in your heart, so shall your results be. God has told us already that you cannot go further than your thinking. God has told us that he cannot override our thinking. God has told us that our, our outcome in life is what we are thinking. Do you understand? So I had to say, I, I do not expect it. I do not expect I had to deal with it. Lord, I do not expect it. Then maybe they are going to other people's sites. They will not come to my site. They will not disrupt my project. They will not disrupt my plans. Maybe you are working in a government parastatal. You are expecting somebody to stand against you. You are expecting something to go wrong. You are expecting them to frustrate your contract. You are expecting them to frustrate your plans. Lord, I do not expect evil concerning my life. I cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I expect only good things. I expect only good things. I expect positive things in the name of Jesus. I expect good things. I expect positive things in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I expect only good things in my life. I expect positive things. In the name of Jesus. Let me give you that scripture. Oh, Makatele Boro Shatahande. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. <coughs> 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. Some of you are afraid to expect because you don't want to be disappointed. What kind of thought is that? You know, when there is no expectation, there will be no disappointment. With God, with God, if you are talking about people, maybe, even when you are talking about people, still expect the good from them. Still expect positive things from them. Do you understand? Then how much more with God? I don't want to raise my hopes. I don't want to raise my hopes. You are saying you don't want to have faith. You don't want to have faith. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought. To what? Bringing into captivity. Holding bound every thought. To what? <coughs> to the obedience of Christ. Holding bound every thought. Subjecting it to the word. Bringing every thought, mm, holding it bound to what the word says. To what the word says. Aligning it to scriptures. 
aligning my words to what the word says, aligning my thinking to what the word says, aligning my imagination to what the word says. You are pregnant, you keep checking, you keep checking, you are expecting to see blood. You are pregnant, you keep going to the hospital and hey, please do scan again, do scan again, especially first time moms. Can we do this scan again? Can we check? I just want to be sure. I've not noticed any movement. You are expecting bad news today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray for yourself. Say, Father, from today, I cast down every evil, wicked, bad, negative imagination that wants to play out in my business, that wants to play out in my marriage, that wants to play out in my, in my family, that wants to play out in my career, that wants to play out in my ministry. Any wicked imagination, I cast you down now and I cast you out of my head. I cast you out of my thoughts. I cast you out of my family. I cast you out of my mind. I cast you out of my vision. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. That's why when you speak positive words, it doesn't carry power because it's coming from here. It's not coming from here. That's why you are making affirmation. I affirm that. I say that. I shall be that. I shall do this. I shall be that. But it's not, it's not manifesting through the power of the Holy Spirit because it's not coming from here. It's just coming from here. You are saying it, but what is here is different. What is coming out is different. What is inside the soil of your mind is what you will produce, not just what you say. What is under the soil of your mind, that is what you will produce. Father, I uproot every seed every seed of evil thoughts, every seed of evil imagination that I have planted in the soil of my mind, I uproot it now in the name of Jesus. Every seed, makenu rosude mashanda, open your mouth and pray. I uproot every seed. It's not just what you say that you get, your mind produces what you plant on it. You are a product of the seed under the soil of your mind. You can't plant corn and expect rice. You can't plant corn and expect rice to come out. You can't plant mango and expect to see an apple. I uproot every seed of evil imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself, and I cast down every imagination. I cast down every picture. I cast down every thought. I cast down every image that I have planted in the soil of my mind that wants to play out in my life, wants to play out in my marriage, wants to play out in my home, wants to play out in my business, wants to play out in my finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. And I bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. From today, from today, from today, I bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. From today, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Male Kotora Mashandai. He says, I will go before you, Isaiah 45. Let's go back there. I will go before you. Now we have dealt with the internal limitations. <coughs> now we have dealt with the internal issues. We have dealt with the unseen issues. We have dealt with the internal limitations. Let's deal with the external one. Let's deal with the external one. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Yesterday we also said, Father, stretch my mind. Stretch me. Stretch my mind. In the name of Jesus, stretch me, Lord. Help me to be able to conceive. Let my mind begin to conceive. Let my mind begin to conceive great things. Let my mind begin to conceive great things. Oh, let my mind begin to conceive great things. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my mind begin to conceive great things. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Ele poro sokotoro mashanda. Ele prando sakate le boshata. Stretch my mind, Father. Cause my mind to begin to give birth to great and mighty things. Cause my mind to begin to give birth to great and mighty things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 45 verse 2. He says, I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down the gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will break down the gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. In the name of Jesus, every invisible mountain surrounding my life, every invisible mountain surrounding my destiny, every invisible mountain around me, in my home, in my career. Father, according to your word in Isaiah 45, let it come down, let it melt. Level it in the name of Jesus. Level it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mountain that is challenging my progress, every mountain that, has, that the enemy has put in front of me and said, I want you to keep going around this mountain. Some of us have been on a tour of the same mountain, going back and forth. The same mountain, going back and forth. The same mountain. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me level. Father, by your right hand, level every invisible mountain standing in my way. Every mountain that the enemy has placed before me. Every mountain of limitation and stagnation that the enemy has placed before me. Father, Lord, let it be leveled now. Are you praying? Father, Lord, let it be leveled. Let it be leveled in the name of Jesus. Let it be leveled in the name of Jesus. Roke Manura Kupayanda. Let it be leveled in the name of Jesus. Re Baba Shakata Liboroshte. O Rabasekete Libaro Shataya. Let every mountain of stagnation be leveled. Let every mountain of hindrances be leveled. Let every mountain of stag going around in circles be leveled. In the name of Jesus. Every mountain challenging me. Let it be leveled. Satanic mountains. Ah, Father. Father, let it be leveled in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, say it. Father, in the name of Jesus, break down every gate and every bar of iron limiting me. Kadore mashata yege dosi antari moshtakaya. Every satanic gate, every satanic bar of iron limiting me, stopping me, hindering me in the name of Jesus. Father, break it down. Father, cut through it. Father, bend their arrows. Father, bend the irons. Father, open the prison gates for me. In the name of Jesus, deliver me completely. Cause me to come out. Break out every chain. Lord, break down every chain that the enemy has imposed on my life. Every chain that Satan has worn on my hands. Every chain that Satan has worn on my legs. Father, I command those chains to be broken. I command those chains to be broken in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Every chain that Satan has won on my hands, every chain that Satan has put on my feet, I command it now by the power of the Holy Spirit to be broken, to be shattered, grinded to powder. In the name of Jesus, I command a release. I command a release out of every prison. I command a release if there's anyone here that the enemy has held hostage. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command a release. I command a release right now. In the name of Jesus, Malakoraba Shantaya. If there is anyone here that the enemy has held that career in the prison, held their career hostage, held their marriage hostage, held their blessings hostage, held their ministry hostage, held their finances hostage, held their visas hostage. In the name of Jesus, I command command a release right now in the name of Jesus let the prison gates be opened let the prison gates be opened my father cut through the bars of iron in the mighty name of Jesus turn that to power and pray turn that to power and pray turn that to power and pray speak it over your life declare it over your life say I'm coming out I'm coming out of every prison. I'm coming out of every prison. I'm coming out. And then as you're saying it, make sure you're seeing it. Make sure you're seeing it. 
Make sure you are saying, as you are saying, Father, break off every chain that the enemy has placed on my hands. Break off every chain that Satan has put on the works of my hands. I command the chains to be broken now in the name of Jesus. Make sure you see it. Make sure you see it with your eyes. Make sure you see chains break. Hear the sound of chains fall off. Hear the padlock break. Hear the sounds of the heavy chains fall off. In the name of Jesus, I see the chains falling. I see the chains falling. Say the chains are broken off my feet. In the name of Jesus, I begin to run. I begin to run. In the mighty name of Jesus, every chain that the enemy has placed on my career, every chain that the enemy has placed on my finances, every chain that Satan has placed on my business, every chain that Satan has placed on my destiny, in the name of Jesus, I command you to break. In the name of Jesus, I command you to break. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Maleka Torah Moka Shandai. Oh, Maleka Torah Moka Shandai. Oh, Maleka to Maroka Shandai. Mambrezi Akure Masote Libra Dosta. Maybe you sense, you sense something. You sense a hindrance in a particular aspect of your life. Perhaps you sense a blockage somewhere. Mixellar, I've just posted the link. Please kindly share the link on your status. Thank you. Maybe you sense a hindrance. <coughs> or you sense, sense restriction. You just sense satanic activity going on. Trying to mess around with something you have been working on. You sense it. You sense it in your spirit. Open your mouth and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I stop every activity of Satan concerning this thing. I stop every satanic activity going on in this area of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, say it, I stop it now. I command it to stop in the name of Jesus. Every satanic activity messing with this job, messing with this thing, messing with this application, messing with this expectation, I command it to stop in the name of Jesus. They are telling you, oh, is that man? Hey, is our boss? Hey, is that woman? There's one woman. She's the one that is stopping it. Oh, there's one person there. There's one person there. Alone when he saw Kale in Lomalo. Same way, Satan will not go there himself. He's a human being he will use. It's still a satanic activity. God will not come down himself. He will use human beings. Satan too will not come down. He will use human beings. You will say, Father. Every satanic activity going on in my life, I command it to stop right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to stop in the name of Jesus. I command it to stop in the name of Jesus. I command it to stop in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Every satanic activity going on in my family. Whenever you are about to be promoted, something will happen. Whenever you are about to be promoted, something will happen. Whenever you are about to be added to that list, something will come up. Something always comes up when it's about to happen. It's a satanic activity going on. Apart from the fact that we know that God sometimes can stop some things for our sake. Most times, it's Satan that is at work. That bastard devil. You will say, Father, concerning this thing, Lord, let the back and forth stop. You know what it is. What is what is that thing that has been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? No progress. What is that application? What is that thing going back and forth, back and forth? No progress. No result. Two years you are still on it. Three years you are still on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take charge of every spiritual ent entity. I take charge in the name of Jesus. Of every satanic force behind the scenes working against this thing, I take charge now and I command them to stop. I command them to stop. Bible says you shall resist the devil 
and it will flee from you. Say, I resist in the name of Jesus, every invisible hand walking behind the scenes, trying to stop and frustrate this process, trying to frustrate this issue, trying to frustrate my plans, trying to frustrate my marriage, trying to frustrate my application. Every invisible hand behind the scenes, trying to frustrate it, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I command you to get your hands off now. I command you to get your hands off now in Jesus name and as you are saying it be saying it as you are saying it be saying it as you are saying it be saying it as you say it see it get your hands off now in the mighty name of Jesus I command every satanic activity to stop Kandurobo shakali barosh in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I command it to stop. I halt it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Reka Bashanto. And I command you to get your hands off. I command you to get your hands off. Satan, take your hands off my business plans. Take your hands off my proposal. Take your hands off my expectations. Take your hands off my contract. Take your hands off my business. Take your hands off my ministry. Take your hands off my career. Take your hands off my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan, take your hands off. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kendo lobora bashika ya de bostakai. Lebron do shoka teli borosh te kere basota ya. Ramba kobara basika ye gedo sata. Lebron do seke teli borosh te karia. Renga basoko teli borosh takaya. Rede besele baros te kere basunte lege daros taka. Engre baba soto libra do shataya. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Raba shada la barabo shataya. Rege do bale brodosh to kori bakanda libro godosh takai. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. I want us to read this scripture. Mark chapter 9 from verse 17. Mark chapter 9 from verse 17. Preferably the NIV version. Preferably the NIV version. When we start taking care of things spiritually, when we start dealing with things from the spirit realm, the physical will turn, will come in alignment. Mark 9 verse 17. Mark 9 verse 17. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. Rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered. 
<clears throat> it has often thrown him into fire <clears throat> or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Hallelujah. Immediately, the father's boy exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirits, the deaf and mute spirit. He said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Did you see what Jesus did there? The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently, and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? They brought a boy to Jesus. What did he do? He dealt with the spirit that was influencing that reaction. He took care of the spirit that was responsible for what was going on in the physical, in the natural realm. You have to learn to take care of things from the spirit realm. Especially when you see patterns. Especially when Something that was supposed to go smoothly, suddenly, starts giving you issues. My sister, my brother, something is behind it. Not just something, someone is walking behind the scenes to frustrate what is going on in the natural. Jesus took care of the spirit behind it. And immediately the boy was delivered. This is why you have to take care of invisible mountains. You have to address chains. Why am I not going forward? Why are things not working? Why is the work of my hands on the same spot? Why is this? Why is that? Before you apply all the seven steps and the ten steps and the five steps, make sure that you deal with the spirit realm, whatever it is, because those things don't obey seven steps. They don't obey seven steps. They don't obey 10 steps. Make sure you go there and you first take care of that place. Take care of that. And then the seven steps and the 10 steps will work. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. He said all things, another thing I want to take out from there. He said all things are possible to him that believes. He said, help my own belief. God was trying to get that man to see his son healed. To see his son delivered. To see his son talking. To see his son hearing. To see his son walking like a normal human being. And not jumping into fire and water. God was trying to help his imagination come in alignment with his prayer request. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. I hope you have been blessed today. This week on the Word Feast, we're focusing on the book of Psalms. We're focusing on the book of Psalms. And so I will be posting the scripture reading for today after the prayers, immediately after the prayers. So go to the Word Fist group and focus and read. Just read. <coughs> Just read. Just read. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now. See you tomorrow morning by 5 a.m. <clears throat> Bye.